So how do you enforce a boundary? How do you set a boundary with a toxic person and make sure that that line isn't crossed? My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand and heal from and transform your life after toxic relationships and dealing with narcissistic people. So let's talk about that in a second. Right now, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you guys need coaching, group coaching or peer support, make sure you check out the information in the main description of every video where there are ways to find out all about that and get yourself started healing if that's what you need to help you. So, okay, boundaries. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about boundaries and narcissists. So a boundary is a line, right? Or a decision or a choice or something that you're stating for yourself that no one else gets to cross. In other words, a no or a yes or a how long or a how much, right? That you're willing to participate in something or you're willing to be involved in something or whatever it is that other people don't get to decide for you. The thing about boundaries is if you do not have a clear understanding, awareness, and like a feeling of resolve about that boundary, when you're placing them with anyone, people are going to walk all over them, right? Because without the internal clarity, the internal knowing of what it is you're actually saying no to or agreeing to or whatever, you know, whatever your line is, then you're kind of in an energetic uh, no man's land, right? Where other people get to insert what they think in there. It's not a resolve. Okay. So number one, when you're dealing with a toxic person, they are not going to like it. They're not going to respond to, they're not going to give you any um, respect for boundaries that you place. So know that, okay, we're not doing it for them. We're doing it to have some will and agency in our own life to maintain low contact when we need to in the way that is safest for ourselves, and to mitigate and and sort of buffer the toxic effect of the toxic person okay so, so that's why it's important to have that you know clarity first and that and that really firm resolve inside yourself know that that toxic person is going to cross the line they don't want to be told what to do they don't want you to have any control over your own life or your own say in things so say you're, you're trying to set a boundary with a toxic parent and this toxic parent let's just say it's a mom just for the sake of it okay and she calls every single day and she wants to know every single thing that's going on with your life and she's very enmeshed and she's very controlling she's not happy about the things you're here you're saying to her she puts it down she criticizes she tells you what to do she gets really really toxic with the conversation that you're having and so you decide to set a boundary of less phone calls right and less time spent on each phone call and certain topics being off limit you're not going to give her all of your information well you see she's not going to take that like okay i hear your needs i'll respect them she's going to feel threatened by that and the narcissist is going to try and break you and break through that boundary guilt trip you give you you know, criticism, gaslight you, backhanded compliment you, and so you accidentally spill. They're going to try any manipulative tactic that they are used to using on you to try and pull that information back out of you and bring things right back to the way they need them. So the way you maintain the boundary is having that clarity and that resolve inside yourself that this just isn't something I have the energy for. This is not something I'm willing to engage in. And you stop. The thing is, you have to be okay with that other person not being thrilled about your boundary. You have to, if you're not okay with it, at least know how to deal with the not okayness that you feel. Okay. So it might be, okay, then I have to do some self-care afterward. I know it's going to sting. I know it's going to, I'm going to feel guilty. Well, then I need to talk to you and examine that guilt and really get clear with myself that I have nothing to feel guilty for. I'm allowed to have these things in my life that are my choice and my way for myself. This is normal adult interaction. So it's retraining yourself to stop trying to people please, stop trying to get the other person to be okay with your boundary. Even people who aren't toxic aren't necessarily gonna be okay with your boundary. It's, it's a change, all right? It takes people time to adjust. It's gonna take even a narcissist time to adjust. You just keep holding the line and be okay 
with them not being okay with it. It's the, it's really the only way. It's either that or place such a hard boundary that they can't talk to you in between. <laughs> really, unfortunately, while it would be wonderful to tell you tricks and tips for how to convince a narcissist that your boundaries count and your boundaries are important and that you have a right to them. The truth is when you're dealing with and you have to maintain contact and relationships with narcissistic people of any kind, that it's really about the work we do inside ourself to help ourself in the situation feel healthy, even though what's in front of us is toxic. It is going to have all kinds of discomfort as you get there. There's going to be bumps in the road, guilting, guilty feelings, feeling responsible for the other person, feeling all kinds of stuff that you've been trained how to feel. That's what we've been talking about here lately is how to retrain ourselves to be individuated, healthy adults who do not have to give over to toxic people in our life, our agency, our sense of self, who are able to stand up inside ourselves and hold the boundary, even though it's uncomfortable. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know of any other ideas for dealing with narcissists and boundaries that you have in the comments, and we'll keep talking. Again, my name is Lise Colucci and hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.